Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again bringing you guys another Madden 15 Ultimate Team head-to-head -head seasons game Currently 2-1 on the season as you guys know should be 3-0. I got completely bs in that game I actually won but the game glitched somehow and gave me a loss I don't know dude. It's it's such nonsense, but we're trying to make this run for the playoffs Let's see what we can do in today's game guys Kind of feel good about how I've been playing lately. I mean, I'm not obviously one of the best Madden players in the world or anything like that, but I've definitely felt like I've been playing better over the past week or two than I had been prior to that. And we start things off here with a little face catch to Calvin Johnson. It's definitely kind of something that I've been working on here. Um, I, I want to try and improve my passing game and make it so that... Um, you know, when I see that single coverage that I can throw it up to Calvin Johnson and rely on him. And look at Calvin Johnson here making another couple of catches here on this drive after Marshawn Lynch dashes him for a few yards. But right here, we are going to take a sack. Now, I want you guys to watch the defensive tackles for this guy. Because I don't know what he was doing, and I know he sent a couple of blitzes, but he definitely sent quite a few undefended defensive tackles right through the center of my offensive line. And that shit is so annoying to me. So I was kind of pissed off about that. Ended up having to settle for three on our first drive. But hopefully we can continue our luck here as he bombs it up. Oh, and Rob Gronkowski toasts me. That was all me on defense. I should have been defending that with Eric Weddle. I did not. And unfortunately, we give up the huge play there to Gronk. But it's okay because a couple of plays later, he's going to throw things up here. And it is intercepted by Eric Weddle, who makes up for the fact that I screwed up with him earlier in the drive. The user play uh, didn't really work for me, but the computer came up pretty good. I'm not, I'm not complaining. Not complaining. Usually that doesn't happen. Second and two now after a nice run there. Marshawn Lynch is going to break loose on this play. I don't know. I got a little bit of a weird animation there, but I will definitely accept it as we break a tackle. Nearly gone for a touchdown there. Taken down at about the 25-yard line here after that beautiful run after the catch there by Marshawn Lynch. So now, second and 10, and look at this. The undefended players coming through my offensive line. I just don't have anybody blocking. It's ridiculous. But finally... We're going to make a terrible mistake here. Uh, third and 10, I was definitely expecting another crazy pass rush. We kind of got it, but he didn't get through completely undefended, so I had time. I forced the pass. Bad decision. The pressure got to me, and now it's his ball. As he bombs it up here on first down into coverage, thankfully he didn't come down with that one. I was pretty happy about that. But on third and 10, he is going to make a beautiful pass there. Dangerous throw, but it worked out for him down the field, and he is able to beat Luke Keekley in coverage. Brings up now a second and 10, and he is going to have time here in the pocket. Look how much time he has. Bombing this thing up into coverage. Vontae Not Davis <laughs> knocks it away. Brings up now a third and 10. Vontae Davis playing very well in coverage so far in this one. And we are going to make the play there on defense. Got the pass rush to him. Wasn't able to get the conversion there. And we are back on offense. Converting there with Mike Ditka on a second and seven. Brings up now a first and 10. And we've got a man wide open. It is Kevin White, and he is going to go out of bounds there after the big game, picking up another first down there. Second and seven, and look at this. Another undefended defensive tackle. I blocked almost everybody there, and he still got through just completely untouched. Unbelievable. So I'm pissed. I'm throwing it up to Calvin Johnson. I don't even care. Double coverage. You know what? Rocket catches all day, baby. I will do it if I have to. <laughs> I hate doing it. I hate the fact that it's in this game, but it is what it is. Another one up here into coverage. He blitzed everybody there. Single coverage. Calvin Johnson. I've got to give it to him there. And Marshawn Lynch is going to get into the end zone a couple of plays later, setting us up now with a 10-point lead heading into the half. So coming out of the half now, I've just got to make sure that I don't throw this game away. And my opponent makes a great pass there on the sidelines. I thought for sure his wide receiver stepped out of bounds there, but he didn't. And he's going to continue to pick up yardage here with that power run out of shotgun, which I'm not used to a lot of people running out of shotgun. And he was definitely catching me off guard with that on occasion. Probably should have tried to run that a little bit more often, I think, because uh, I think he would have had pretty good success with it because I really didn't defend it very much. And look at that. All the way across the field with the user. We should have gotten a user pick there, and we didn't. But thankfully, it brought up a second and 10, and DeMarcus Ware makes a great play there. Brings up a third and 12, and he's going to throw this one directly at DeMarcus Ware, and he doesn't make the play. Oh, Ware, you're killing me, Smalls. Thankfully, the next play, it is Luke Keekley who gets the interception, totally bailing us out there in the red zone. But look at this. 
Very first play with me back on offense, another undefended defensive tackle right at my quarterback. I just have no words. I, like it, your center and your guard just don't block anybody. Real, real, real nice Madden, you know? And then uh, Mike Dick is going to drop this pass on third and five. So we do end up punting, but at least we're not allowing my opponent to put many points on the board or any points on the board at this point in the game. Second and nine, he is definitely driving down the field, and he is going to throw this thing directly at DeMarcus Ware again. And this time, DeMarcus Ware makes him pay. Not known for his coverage skills, but hey, sometimes he's going to be able to make the play, man. It, every once in a while, he's going to be able to do it. Nifty little run here by Marshawn Lynch to pick up four or five. Sets up a third and eight, and we are going to go off the edge here to Bruce Miller. Unfortunately, could not break the tackle. So we are going to punt once again, but at least I'm spending a lot of time when I have the ball on offense. Try to run a screen pass there, and we do get the sack on defense. Sets up a second and 18, and I'm going to send heat every single play on this drive because, damn it, I'm pissed. I've had enough. As he throws this thing up into coverage on third and 29, it's swatted away. And then fourth and 29, we come off the edge there. Chris Harris gets the sack. And we're back on offense in the red zone. Julio Jones coming up with the touchdown. And we go up 17 to nothing here with about two minutes left in this football game. Just really need to stop him from, you know, getting three scores. He can't come back in two scores. So, I mean, if he's throwing these short little passes like this, that's totally fine. We just can't allow him to get the deep one. That's the big thing. If he gets the deep one, we could be in trouble. And he's going to try and throw it up here into coverage. We've got two guys here, and we knock it away, thankfully. Should, probably should have been an interception, but we'll at least take the swat away. Second and 10 now, and we knock that ball away. Brings up a third and 10, and he's going to go short again here. We knock him down, and that brings up a fourth and eight. We're going to bring some heat on him one more time, but this time he sees it coming. The offensive line picks it up, and he is going to convert there on fourth and eight. Now, second and 10, and he's going to go to the sidelines here. Picks up the completion. Didn't get out of bounds, though, so the clock is continuing to run here. Third and four, and he's going to bomb this one up and make another completion. So he's definitely getting close here. Am I going to get the shutout or not? That's the real question here is we're getting close to about 30 seconds remaining in this game. Third and five, and he is going to find another receiver here, convert again. And that brings up now a first and goal here at the goal line. 30 seconds remaining, and check out these users, baby. A user's on deck. Gotcha, bitch. And he is going to get the interception. It is Eric Weddle, and we are off to the races. Not to be caught. We're going to run out some clock as well and then get him with a little bit of a taunt too. Just because, you know what, man, you probably could have ran the clock out. I know you don't want to, you know, do that sometimes, but hey, if you're going to be somebody that's going for it at the end of the game, trying to put points on the board, I'm going to try and put points on the board too. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. We score another touchdown there and we do walk away with an easy victory in this game. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. The game was closer than it looks as far as the scoreboard goes. 24 to nothing was the final. Uh, he actually did play better than that. He just got a couple of unlucky interceptions there near the goal line, and we were able to get the shutout in this one. So, again, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. Of course, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe as well. We're now up to 3-1 and one on the season. Hopefully we can make this playoff run. And I hope you guys will join me here for the next video in the coming days. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.